everyone I hope you're having a good day and today I am doing my August favorites I am excited to show you these favorites and I know everybody's like I can't believe it's the end of August but as much as last month I was like I'm so sad it's the last month of summer and blah 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 anyway I am a summer girl through and through but I love fall and I can kind of feel myself shifting over into fall mode and I'm getting excited about fall fashion and fall nails and fall makeup and all that good stuff so I'm not like super sad that August is over so anyway with all that said if you notice that I'm like dark under my eyes my eyes are watering and I feel like my nose, I've been sneezing, my nose has been running, my eyes are itching. It's very like allergy kind of symptoms, but I don't usually suffer from allergies. So I don't know if I'm getting a cold or is it the time of year where people's allergies are acting up? If you know, tell me below because I don't really suffer from allergies, but I don't feel bad like I would with a cold. I just feel like itchy eyes, watery eyes, you know, that kind of stuff. So if I'm touching my face, my eyes, I really deep down just want to go, but I'm trying not to. Anyway, I'm going to start off with um, something that I can't even believe I'm going to tell you about. And it is a moisturizer. And my mom told me about this moisturizer. And if you have watched me for long, you know that I love my ponds, the collagen or any of the ponds like cold cream, nighttime um, face moisturizers. But... I think I've found something that I like just as good, if not better. And I've been using it almost a month now. Anyway, it's from St. Ives. And it's the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin, Elastin Moisturizer. It says, visibly reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Anyway, I, I can't even believe, like, I feel like I'm cheating on my ponds. Because I've told so many of you about the ponds. And it's so cheap and the ponds you can get a tub for this size for about six dollars but I always get the travel ones and they're like two dollars well this tub right here I think is six or seven dollars so it's same price range but I have not seen this in a travel size but my mom was telling me about this that she saw that Dr. Oz had said this is the the best anti wrinkle cream or wrinkle cream I don't know wrinkle cream on the market he said this is the number one don't waste your money on the expensive ones from department stores or whatever this is the best so i thought well i'll give it a try now i don't have a lot of wrinkles i do have um under eye wrinkles that i'm starting to see and i have been using something on there that i'm going to do a review on later but um i put this on there too but I've only been using this a few weeks, but it feels amazing. It's just like, I can tell there's collagen in there, but it doesn't tingle or anything like that. But it just is so smooth and so creamy, and it really feels amazing. And it feels better than my ponds. And I can't even believe I'm saying that because I love my ponds. Totally been a favorite for this month. I'm obsessed with this cream and... Yeah, so the St. Ives Timeless Skin. Look it up because Dr. Oz apparently had a lot to say on it. So, yeah. Okay, a next, a, the next favorite is something I can't believe I'm saying too because I feel like I'm cheating on my Suave Professionals Dry Shampoo. But I have found another dry shampoo that I adore. And it's the Dove one. And I feel like a lot of people have tried this one. Probably more so than the Suave Professionals. Um, the Suave Professionals is, I think a dollar 19 whereas i think this is two or three dollars so it's just a little bit more but it's not expensive um this is the just basically the dove dry shampoo they're all they all do about the same thing this one to me it smells better than the suave one and i had had some people tell me that the suave one um they didn't like the smell and it was a little too overpowering whereas this to me has a nicer scent and it's definitely not like take your breath away um also with this i don't notice I don't notice a ton of the white powdery residue with the Suave one, but I notice less with this one. So anyway, this is really a great, great dry shampoo and it could be my new favorite. So I have been totally reaching for this one this month. I haven't hardly, I don't even know if I've really reached for the Suave one this month. I've totally been going for this one and it's almost empty. 
that tells you how much I love it. So anyway, totally recommend the Dove Dry Shampoo. Bees, um, beeswax um, lip balm. And anyway, it's just the original lip balm. And I keep it under my bathroom sink. And so like in the morning when I get up after I brush my teeth, I put this on at night um, when I'm washing my face. I put this on before I go to bed. And anyway, really, really love it. It is um, very like minty and cooling on your lips. So if you don't like that, then you won't like the original. But I love it. Okay. Next is um, the, by the Fresh brand, the Sugar Lip Balm in the Rosé and which I call it rose but it does have the little asterisk um, and it has SPF 15 and this is just the rose um, you know the red one and I'll swatch it for you it's just a very sheer um, reddish tint now this is pricier it's in the $20 range and for like a chapstick to me that's crazy but it was a gift and I absolutely love it I've just been using it I've kept it in my purse all month and just running here and there I wouldn't really have a color on and I would just apply this it smells good tastes good and yeah so that is a good great lip balm product okay next let's see we'll do face um it's a one of the dream bouncy blushes this is the only one I've ever had and I do have it on today so if you can see it's called coffee cake kind of a coffee red just very natural. I think it'll be perfect like in the fall. I use mine with the e.l.f. the little baby stippling brush. It's $3 at Target and it just works amazingly with this product. Well she didn't want a stippling brush and she was just using her fingers and she didn't think it had enough color payoff. She didn't want a brush so she gave it to me. So when I have tried it with my fingers I don't think it gives enough color payoff but when you try it with the stippling brush I think it works amazingly now here's what it looks like up close and it has that bouncy but to me mine doesn't spring back so either one of them that on my finger it looks way more pigmented on camera than it does just looking at it up close but um let me swatch that for you there's that it's just very natural but if you're gonna get any of these dream or any cream um, shadows I totally recommend this stippling brush and I just put it in there like this and then I just apply it to my cheeks and it just gives me the nicest um, just color. Okay, next eye product is, I think I've hauled this too. It is from Benefit and it is their cream shadow and birthday suit. And I'm pretty sure this is probably one of the most their most popular um, cream shadows. And anyway, that's what that looks like. Let me swatch it for you real fast. So there's that. This is kind of like a taupey bronze is really what it is. Um, I absolutely adore this color. I have not seen this color in a drugstore version. So I totally recommend Birthday Suit from Benefit. I do love that color. This eyeliner, and I'm pretty sure I have hauled this also, and it is L'Oreal, the 12 Hour Infallible, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. And it looks like this. Okay, so let me see. So there is two of the lines. Now I am finding, because I've been using it a ton, that the very tip, which is it's a little bendy, is drying out right on the tip. I'm trying to see if I can swatch just the tip. Okay, right there, I don't know if you can see, but um, just that teeny tiny tip is dry, drying out. So I feel like I have to turn it on the side and do it like that. So. And you can make a thicker line. But anyway, that's the only negative thing I have to say about this. I love this liner and I will repurchase it. So that has been a super fave this month. And it's the Super Slim, the 12 Hour Infallible. And it really does last. Hopefully my hands look. It's wanting to stain my hand. I thought I caught it before it dried. Okay, so next is it's another benefit product. And it was a sample that my mom got, I think, for her birthday gift from Sephora. And um, anyway, it's the Benefit Their Real um, 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 Mascara. And I've tried the one, what is it? I can't remember what Benefit's other like real famous um, mascara is called. What is it called? I can't remember, but I don't love that one. And anyway, so this one, I was a little hesitant because to me the brush is kind of gimmicky. It's got that little ball on the end. And anyway. I have fallen in love with this mascara. It really does like elongate and volumize and everything your lashes. And I have it on today, so hopefully I can. 
it really gives me the length that I love and I am one that is all for a drugstore mascara but I've never really invested like in a high-end mascara but this is on my Sephora list yes I keep a Sephora list and I'm going to be purchasing this in the full size it's amazing the benefit they're real and I don't think it comes in waterproof and I always say I wear waterproof because my eyes are watery but this I mean my eyes are watery today I've already taken like an antihistamine to dry me up and my eyes are watering again like there's it's been a few hours since I've had that and anyway this is staying on and it's not running all over my face so I'm really impressed with the benefit they're real Sigma tweezers not this Sigma tweezers it's tweezers from Sigma um, I have never bought nice tweezers and I just always buy like cheapo tweezers and I find that a lot of times at the ends it's like a little crack like where it's supposed to clamp completely closed where it would grab onto the lat or the not the lash don't tweeze your lashes but your brow and pull it out it's like it always slides out anyway I was like I just need to get a nice set of tweezers I was already doing a Sigma order and so I think these were like either seven dollars or twelve dollars twelve dollars is probably more like it but anyway they're really really nice um tweezers and anyway I'm loving them I really can tell a difference they're heavier they clasp all the way closed and I just am really able to get my lashes don't tweeze your lashes jeez your brows I really find that it gets your brows and it pulls them out can't you tell I don't really feel all that up to everything <laughs> maybe it's that Sudafed kicking in so anyway okay the next thing talking about brows my friend Sarah so if you watched any of my hauls last month I did a ton of them Sarah and I and she has a blog Sarah Mac Beauty blog dot blogspot dot com I'm pretty sure but I will link it below she does a really great job and you should check her out um anyway she told me about these little brow razors and first she was talking about she needed to buy a razor for her brows and I was like okay sure whatever um anyway she showed me these at Target and I had n I've seen these before but I never knew what it was and never really thought about it um but anyway she was just what you do is you do it dry I assume you do it dry because I do it dry you know but um anyway you just kind of rub it back and forth and it just shaves your um brows anything that's loose or stray and i can do it right underneath if you know i'm just wanting to clean up a little extra i don't have really like excessive brows i can tweeze about every two weeks and i'm good to go but these i feel like in the meantime i just kind of i cleaned up the top of them earlier and anyway I think this is just a really neat thing she bought a pack of three while she was here and I think maybe five or six dollars and she gave me one and I've been using it about a month now and it's still good to go anyway a brow a brow razor but you get it um, I saw them at Target and like the where all the tweezers are and all that it was there and I don't know what brand it is but I'm sure like tweezer man or Sally Hansen or something like that has you know it's those so thank you so much for watching and putting up with me today i know i was kind of all over the place and rambling i'm sorry my head is all congested and just ugh. so if you're not subscribed please do subscribe it makes me so happy when i get a new subscriber and if you'd like to comment or say anything below please do any questions comments if you know if this is allergy season please let me know um and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I think that's everything. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm more style 10 there also. Yeah, so as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next month for September favorites. That's scary. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.